Raucous are really interested in uh, immersive theatre using digital technology. It's what we've been doing for around 10 years now, playing on the sort of periphery of what that could be. And we became really curious about how we might work with an international collaborator and what that might look like in the sort of shadow of COVID and the pandemic. So the Lantern Room came about when Ruthie Luff, who is the creative director of a company called Lost and Gone, in Toronto we're talking about how we might make immersive work between us. So the Lantern Room is the kind of thing that we came up with where it is uh, an immersive piece of theatre that happens simultaneously between Toronto and Bristol. It has digital technology in it and film and smell and our usual music and soundtrack. But that the idea behind it is that they, the audience feels they're seeing it at the same time. So although there's five hours between us, and there's a whole ocean between us, is that somehow the audience sees each other and gets a feeling of real liveness. They get the feeling that they are in a room together watching this performance. Working internationally has been phenomenal and has been um, really eye-opening into gaining a deeper understanding of how audiences work in different countries, how audiences engage in this work. And these moments of coming together, having these sprints, having this uh, collaboration live in person and then being able to go back home to our respective countries and really metabolize our discoveries has led to a re-energizing and exciting exploration overall. This funding with uh, Bristol and Bath Creative R&D has meant that we can really explore our own discipline and the, our own way that we make things and, and look to a partner who may want to come on that journey with us. So it has been incredibly unique and stretching. We really made some huge decisions. That's what this funding gave us, is that we were allowed to make these massive decisions about what this can be. And it has led us to understand that we can make this work, that this work is important to both of us and vital and exciting. And we're looking at a kind of production date of 2024.